From hitting record-breaking speeds of 440 miles per hour to dominating the fierce Ultra 4 King of the Hammers, Jessie Combs wasn't just a racer. She was an unstoppable force. Men admired her raw skill, while women cheered her on for breaking down barriers in a male-dominated sport. But how did this fearless competitor go from being at the top of her game to facing such a tragic end? And what really happened on that fateful drive across the Alvar Desert? Watch the whole video to find out how Jessie Combs became the fastest woman on Earth before meeting her tragic end. Born on July 27, 1980, in the Black Hills of South Dakota, Jessie Combs was destined for a life of adventure and innovation from the beginning. Her early years were spent in a family that shared her passion for the outdoors, and her father's background as a mechanical engineer opened her eyes to the world of machines and speed. Jessie quickly became fascinated with mechanics, often working alongside her father in their garage, where she learned the ins and outs of engine tuning and vehicle repair. By the time she was a teenager, she was well-versed in the basics of car mechanics and eager to learn more. Her passion for precision and engineering led her to Wyo Tech in Wyoming, a top trade school known for producing some of the most skilled automotive professionals in the industry. Jessie became obsessed with custom automotive fabrication and even went on to graduate with honors in 2004. Her time at Wyo Tech not only solidified her technical skills, but also introduced her to a network of industry connections and mentors who would later support her career. After graduating, Jessie's drive and talent launched her career as a metal worker, fabricator, and automotive specialist. She quickly gained a reputation for her craftsmanship and attention to detail, catching the eye of producers for overhauling, a popular automotive reality show. During her time on the show, her expertise helped her become an integral part of the show's crew in the early 2000s. Not only that, but her breakout role also opened other doors for her on television, eventually leading to prominent roles on shows like Extreme 4X4, where she held a key position for four years. Appearing in over 90 episodes, she amazed audiences with her skills, creating an impressive array of race trucks, street trucks, and trail rigs that left millions captivated. In 2007, Jessie faced one of the most terrifying moments of her life, as a freak accident on set changed everything in a split second. A heavy piece of machinery fell, leaving Jessie with a severe spinal injury, a burst fracture in her L3 vertebra. Doctors feared the worst, warning that she might never walk again and could even be bound to a wheelchair for life. But Jessie wasn't one to stand down without a fight. With relentless determination, she endured a grueling path to recovery, undergoing surgery, intensive therapy, and countless painful sessions of physical rehabilitation. Despite the odds, Jessie defied every expectation, eventually achieving a full medical release and returning to the life she loved. Once back on her feet, she didn't just pick up where she left off, she leaped forward. Jessie became a standout personality on hit TV shows like Mythbusters and All Girls Garage, capturing audiences with her skills and fearlessness. Her dedication to cars and engineering and her magnetic on-screen presence made her a trailblazer in the automotive industry, inspiring a generation of women to break into fields like engineering and motorsports. But her time on television also paved the way for her next adventure, performance driving. From roaring supercars and thunderous monster trucks to sleek rally cars and classic hot rods, Jessie handled them all with ease, often pushing the boundaries in stunts that had her driving on two wheels, or no wheels at all. In 2013, Jessie shattered records and expectations when she piloted the North American Eagle Supersonic Speed Challenger to an astounding 398 miles per hour, ultimately reaching a jaw-dropping top speed of 440 miles per hour. This wasn't just any vehicle, it was a retrofitted F-104 Starfighter, a jet-turned land-speed car equipped with solid aluminum wheels, stretching an impressive 56 feet and powered by a staggering 52,000 horsepower. Jessie's fierce ambition and sheer bravery put her in the same league as the rare pioneers who've defied the limits of speed. She took on challenges that few others would dare to face, always willing to push boundaries. Yet land speed wasn't the only arena where Jessie's grit shone through. She took on some of the world's toughest off-road challenges, braving the infamous Baja 1000 in Mexico and the brutal King of the Hammers in California's Johnson Valley. 
These grueling races pushed her to her physical and mental limits. Yet, Jesse thrived in the toughest situations. Jesse redefined what was possible for women in motorsports. Despite an unconventional path and countless obstacles, she pushed forward with an unbreakable spirit. Balancing her land speed record pursuits with TV projects and an influential online presence, she was a powerhouse in a male-dominated field. But she was also very open about the trade-offs of living such a life. Jessie knew that a traditional life might not be her future, but for her, the thrill of breaking barriers and chasing speed was worth every sacrifice and far more fulfilling than any ordinary path could ever be. And that drive is what led her to attempt a record that would change everything. On August 27, 2019, Jessie prepared for the record-breaking moment she dreamed of. In front of her stood a chance to beat Kitty O'Neill's 512 miles per hour record from 1976, a challenge that had waited for over four decades. Jessie wasn't just pursuing a speed record. She was about to test every ounce of her skill and courage to become the fastest woman on earth. And the stage was set in the Alvar Desert. She tweeted her fearless approach to risk, saying, it may seem a little crazy to walk directly into the line of fire. Those who are willing are those who achieve great things. Jessie knew what was at stake, but pushed forward regardless, channeling her dedication and experience into that final run. In the supersonic North American Eagle, she was reaching speeds that few could even imagine. She had once said, I'm not afraid of dying, but I'm not ready to die. Tragically, her words felt all too real as the attempt took a devastating turn. After months of intense preparation and determination, Jessie Combs was finally ready to break the women's land speed record. She fired up the engine of her 56-foot-long jet car, and within seconds, she was hurtling through the Alvar Desert at mind-boggling speeds. The world around her turned into a blur as she pushed the limits of human endurance, rocketing towards the unthinkable. But just when she was on the brink of greatness, disaster struck. At nearly 550 miles per hour, Jessie's vehicle suddenly lost control. The intense speed left her with little room to react, and in a split second, everything went wrong. Her vehicle suffered a catastrophic failure in the front wheel assembly, likely after striking an object in the desert. Despite her skillful attempts to regain control by deploying parachutes, braking, and shutting down the engine, her efforts couldn't prevent the fatal accident. According to an investigation by the Harney County Sheriff's Office, she suffered a fatal blunt force trauma to the head. Moments before a fire engulfed the wreckage. A year after her devastating accident, Jessie Combs was posthumously crowned the fastest woman on earth by Guinness World Records. Her record-breaking top speed of 522.8 miles per hour solidified her place in history. But here's the jaw-dropping part. During her final run, she reached speeds of 515.3 miles per hour and an astonishing 548.4 miles per hour. The official record is an average of those runs, a fitting tribute to her relentless pursuit of speed. This wasn't just a number, it was proof of her determination to push the limits and defy expectations, even when the odds were stacked against her. Jessie's legacy lives on, inspiring countless individuals to break barriers in motorsports. Her fearless determination, not only in racing but in every aspect of her career, has made her a trailblazer whose influence continues to reverberate. Fans and the racing community alike remember her for more than just her record-breaking achievements. Her spirit, courage, and dedication to inspiring others remain her true legacy. In an emotional tribute following her death, Jesse's boyfriend, fellow racer Terry Matt, shared his love and admiration for her on Instagram. Calling her his unicorn, Terry described the profound connection they shared, reflecting on how special she was and how unlikely it was that anyone would ever match her spirit. His heartfelt tribute included a video filled with memories of their time together, ending with a powerful message. Rest in peace, Jesse Combs. You will forever be remembered as the fastest woman on four wheels, and your legacy will continue to inspire us all. In her honor, the Jesse Combs Foundation was founded in 2019 by close friends, family, and loved ones. The foundation is dedicated to inspiring, educating, and empowering future female trailblazers, continuing Jessie's legacy of defying stereotypes and breaking barriers. The Jessie Combs Foundation continues to inspire and empower young people, urging them to pursue their passions fearlessly, just as Jessie did throughout her life. What do you think of Jessie's relentless pursuit of speed? 
Was it worth the ultimate risk? Or do you believe there should always be limits when it comes to breaking boundaries? Let us know in the comments below. And if this story inspired you, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more powerful stories like this. Thank you for watching.